have you ever been in a relationship and really thought that they were the one? And then the relationship ended and you're left feeling very hurt and you don't know if you've left them hurt and did something to upset them without realizing or displayed certain behaviors that could have ruined your relationship. If that is you, then this video is for you because I'm going to discuss certain behaviors that could kill off a relationship. It's very important for us to take accountability in things we do and say and how we portray ourselves in a relationship. We can't expect certain things of our partners if we're not willing to give that first. So, if you haven't been to my page before, welcome. I'm Hamasa. On this page, I look at personal development as well as mental and emotional well-being and just day-to-day -day issues. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so that you're up to date with all my content. Now, I'm going to start off by just going through these behaviors and things that may at first either affect you getting into the relationship or potentially once you are in a relationship and you're not really doing them, that you're actually just working towards the demise of ending your relationship with the person that you love. And the first thing is lack of good communication and by that i mean right from the start you should be able to communicate how you feel to your potential partner for example if it means that you want to get married and you guys are only in the first few dates then it's important for you to ask be able to ask these hard questions and it doesn't mean that you're asking them to marry you or tying them down that's the fear that most people have. If I throw this out there so early, I may look desperate or I may look like that I'm just wanting them to propose to me. So you need to address it in a way that, do you see yourself married at some point in your life? And if they turn around and say to you, you know, something like, not to me, not tomorrow, but just generally, do you see yourself married? And if they say to you that, you know what, I'll be really okay if I've never, if I never get married in my life, I'm okay with that. If it happens, it happens, but if it doesn't, it doesn't. Then that's a telltale sign that it's not a priority to them and they don't really care. So you should kind of make your decision based on that if that's very important to you. But let's say you're in the relationship. Now, are you able to have honest and open communication with your partner? Or are you too scared to express yourself to them? If you're too scared to address big topics or have a com you know open communication with them and you feel that you need to lie and be dishonest and hide things, then that's already a sign that this relationship isn't healthy. And also, when your partner is honest and open to you about things that bothers them or things that they're upset about or they're just telling you their truth, are you dismissive and sarcastic? Because that, again, is not creating a safe space for your partner to be themselves. So a lack of communication creates lack of emotional intimacy. And so you feel very isolated and alone in the relationship. So communication, of course, is key for a healthy, enduring relationship. And you both should be able to do that and you both should be able to create the open and honest space for each other to be able to do this without having repercussions or it being thrown back in your faces. This leads me to my next point, which is, are you able to face arguments and have fights? Because fights are considered healthy to some extent. Having a toxic relationship and arguing every single day is by no means healthy. But if you sometimes have disagreements and you're able to do them with respect and communication and without getting personal with each other about their characters or just them as a person, then there is nothing wrong with having fights, but it's important to, to note whether you and your partner can have these difficult conversations and have arguments, but then overcome them? Are you able to resolve them without like resulting to contempt? So contempt is like stonewalling and 
again i'm throwing the terms at you guys but i'm going to explain what they mean stonewalling is when you either are dismissing your partner eye rolling which is one of the biggest forms of disrespect um you know not listening to them not being attentive um being sarcastic um gaslighting them when they speak to you about how they feel ignoring them all these things when arguments happen if that's what you're doing or your partner's doing that is highly likely that your relationship will not last because that creates a lot of resentment and a lot of negativity in a very toxic space and that doesn't have longevity it's not going to be strong and resilient you guys are not building strong foundations my next point or a trait or a behavior that could ruin a relationship is lack of respect which again leads links to my previous point so there needs to be a certain level of respect in how you guys represent each other um, hear each other out behave around each other's friends and family those things and how you of course communicate are all things that you need to move forward with your partner with a level of respect because when you don't respect the person then you resent them you dislike them and it just turns into being disgusted by them and that's not a place you want to be and sometimes you just do that from projecting certain things and self-sabotaging and building like setting your partner for failure and then getting really angry and being really resentful towards them so if you're doing that then you have to expect the repercussions of those actions a level of disrespect then leads to you often criticizing your partner or nagging them so if you can avoid doing that then be conscious of it if there are things that you don't like or see in your partner by constantly pointing that out to them is going to make them feel very on edge and insecure around you so you're not actually helping anyone or anything this could really create distance in the relationship and it will really make you lose the sight of why you love your partner because you're so busy concentrating on their mistakes it just creates a very negative dynamic so nagging and criticizing is very unhealthy my next point would be and i believe this happens a lot in long distance relationships or online relationships is that you idealize your partner so you project your version of them that you built up in your head rather than the real them and so you place really high expectations on your partner and so you love that version of them instead of loving them for who they are and that's guaranteed fail because once you see things in your partner that you may not like that goes against your image or illusion that you've built up and you're then setting yourself up for major disappointment which could lead to ending of a relationship because you've painted this unrealistic picture of your partner so idealizing them never a good sign make sure you're realistic you see them for who they are and what they are not their potential their reality my next point is that you spend too much time together now it's lovely to have all the time with your loved one and cuddle up but it's also important to not lose yourself in the relationship when you're spending immense amount of time with your partner and you're doing everything together at all times then you're not letting each other giving each other that space to miss each other and also you're separating and isolating them and yourself from your own circle and your own hobbies and things that you do for yourself so you both merge into this one person which is never healthy because a healthy relationship is two people two healthy people coming together two whole healthy people coming together not like i'm half and they're half and now we're one complete being 
you should have your individuality and your friends and your hobbies and things that you do for yourself. So spending too much time together or doing everything together is never healthy. You tend to ignore the other people and your other relationships in your life that are also very important and you shouldn't be neglecting that because you're spending so much time with your partner. So a healthy balance is very, very important. And you also, by creating some space, you run out of, you, you have things to talk about because when you're always together doing the same things, then what do you have to talk about? What do you have to fill in each other on? Like in, you need to do your own, you need to keep your own individuality to be able to have things to share, experiences to live and things that will, you know, balance you out in your relationship. Which also brings me to my next point, that you lack new experiences. So you're sticking to your routine, you've come, com become comfortable and you're just doing the same things over and over again. And you never do anything is ex spontaneous, any new experiences, you don't push each other, you don't take risks, you don't do anything exciting. And that, pretty early on will get very boring. So it's very important to kind of not settle into, into too much of a routine and break that cycle. If you close off from new experiences, then your relationship will lose its fulfillment. You guys won't be feeling excited. It'll be fall into a routine and rigidness and it's just Every time you're away or break away from that is when you feel alive a little bit. So when it comes to that, then highly likely that it won't last. Because if you feel like you can't breathe in your relationship and you have to get away to feel like that and have a sense of freedom and a sense of fun, then that relationship is probably not healthy and it's not going to last. And my final point is you are distracted when you have time with your partner you're not present and you're not affectionate so it's kind of two points but it's the same thing if you're on your phone all the time and you know let's say your kids are there and you guys put them to bed and you want to get in bed and you just have that 10 20 minutes this is your time to sit and communicate and chat and spend time together be affectionate be present show that to your partner but if you're gonna sit there on your phone and start texting and be distracted and you, or you're out at dinner on a date and your partner keeps going on their phone or you keep posting everything on social media and you're not present on the date, you're not paying attention to your partner, you're not making the most of the face-to-face -face time that you're getting, then that creates a real distant, distance and resentment. And if you're not affectionate in your private time or whenever you're not showing even if it means buying gifts if that's your love language and you're showing your affection that way make sure that you keep up with that and it wasn't something that was only happening at the start and it was really exciting and you did all of those things and now that you've got them you kind of neglect that lack of intimacy and affection could then result in your partner looking for that elsewhere and that's obviously a position you do not want to be in. And that's not justifiable, but you also need to, like I said, take accountability for what the part that you play. So reminding, of course, it's not realistic to keep up the same energy and excitement that you had with your partner from the start of the relationship. That is unrealistic. But reminding your partner every now and then how you feel about them, how much you appreciate them, or just hugging and kissing them and showing them affection, and respect is what will keep them there and keep both of you fulfilled and happy. So I hope that you found these points helpful. It's very easy to fall into a pattern and get complacent and forget all the reasons why you loved that person in the first place. But every now and then we need to be reminded of the part we have to play and the things that we need to do in order to keep our relationship healthy and long lasting so i hope that you guys enjoyed this please don't forget to like and comment on this video and please do subscribe to my page so that you're up to date with my content i will see you guys again here next week thank you for watching Mwah.